How's it going guys, it's uh, Kenneth here and today I'm going to be speaking about what to do when things just don't work out in the garden. I've already had a few things go wrong um, this summer, uh, starting with the little one square meter garden. Um, although we got quite a lot of lettuce from it and a bit of spinach, everything else didn't really work out that well. Um, I'm not 100% sure why, but um, you know, it's just one of those things. Sometimes you've got to try stuff and they don't really work and you've got to sort of figure out what they are or try different things and just move on. You know, there's no point in sort of kind of being held back by failures because it's bound to happen in any garden every year. You're never going to get something perfect all the time. Um, and the same goes with our French dwarf beans. I planted probably about 15 or 20 of them and just looking at them now, we only have a one, two, three, four, five, six maybe seven that have just about survived um, and they're not actually doing that well they've basically been slaughtered by slugs you know this whole patch over here was full with french dwarf beans but within a you know two weeks they were basically all gone so there are, are two things you can do when things go wrong or, or when you're planning out your garden you can either preempt problems um, so for example you could know that you have a really bad slug problem in your area and if you know that you will do things before you start cropping or planting uh, your seeds and things out um, to prevent slugs doing any damage so in the case of um, the, the problems we've had with the, the slugs and the French dwarf beans, I am going to put some cloches up, cloches, I'm not too sure how you say it um, exactly, but I've bought some galvanized uh, steel hoops, which I'll show you in a minute, and something called veggie mesh. So it's a very, very fine plastic mesh that I'm going to put over the hoops, secure them on, and then just sort of uh, um, keep the sides down, either dig them into the soil or put some stones or you know something slightly heavy onto them and that stops a number of pests getting to your vegetables. Um, it could be snails, slugs, uh, black fly, moths, all sorts of things that could go on there, lay eggs or eat them or you know just damage them basically. And uh, in the case of the one square meter garden, you know, things weren't doing very well there. So I basically um, did one last cut of lettuce, uh, one last cut of spinach, you know, and that was probably three or four days worth for us. Uh, pulled everything out and just planted a whole bunch of new things. What I did was I planted a, a row of radish. Now the radish in the polytunnel will be coming out um, in about five or six days and then that'll last us about a week and then these should be pretty ready to come out after that. Um, I planted a pepper plant over there. Uh, cabbage at the back, uh, some carrots, and one of our tomato plants that we got from Kerry's clients. Um, it's looking a bit sorry for itself still, but you know the roots still need to be established, so I'd probably give it a few more weeks until um, that looks better. So I'll show you these hoops in this mesh and how I'm going to set it up. Um, what I've done is I've pre prepared this whole area over here. It's a, a sun trap and it gets sun basically all day. Okay, uh, these are the galvanized hoops I was talking about. Um, they're quite flexible. Um, they're not really too thick, but uh, that's cool because you know I'll be able to bend it to shape. And uh, this is a veggie mesh. Okay, so I've got um, six of them laid out over there. Um, they're kind of sort of evenly spaced, maybe about a meter, you know, a bit less over there. Um, what I'll do now is just kind of plant the seeds and get everything planned out. And then after that, I'll put the mesh over it. You know, so basically, um, the reason you might think, well, why didn't I have these in the first place um, if we knew slugs were a problem here? But the thing is, I didn't. Uh, we've never actually had problems with slugs in this garden. Everything we've grown has always done really well, and uh, we haven't really had much issues with them eating anything. Um, but this year, for some reason, they're just everywhere. There's just hundreds of them. So I've had to take steps to sort of counteract them that's why we're putting it up now okay 
Okay, so all the knitting's up now. Um, what I've done is I've uh, got some troughs along the edge by the fence and I've planted some, you know, salad and just sort of various herbs and things like that. That's uh, coriander over there, it's gone to seed. So I will pick those seeds and, you know, they'll go nice in some, some food and stuff. And another trough over there and then just some off cuts of pellets on the edges. So that should keep it all down. Um, the good thing about this netting is it lets air flow through. Um, obviously you can see it lets light through and you can also just water straight through it to let, to let water through. Um, one thing to bear in mind is just don't mistake this for shade cloth. If you put shade cloth over something and or over a section of garden and whatever you've planted there needs sun, it might hamper their growth. So just make sure you get something called veggie mesh. So that's it for two today guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed that episode and you found some value in it. Um, if you have any questions about it, just put them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them as best as possible. Um, please like this video and share it with your friends. That would be really appreciated. And if you haven't subscribed yet and you'd like to continue watching videos like this, hit the subscribe button now. I'll see you guys next time. See you later.